They had hoped to work through the holidays, but now one Norpac Foods worker says that he and dozens of other employees are already without work. The move comes on the heels of a big announcement from the Marion County-based Food Processing Cooperative. The bankrupt business plans to lay off more than 900 workers when it closes three of its plants. Fox 12's Kendra Kent is live at the facility in Brooks tonight with more. Kendra. Yeah, that's right, Nora, and more than 400 people are employed at this facility here. And I did speak with a union representative who says that this facility is still operating. However, it is unclear how many workers are still here. I did sit down with one employee who says that he was let go next week or last week, and now he's not sure how he and his wife are going to make ends meet. I'm devastated. I wish I had money put away, but I don't. After 15 years at Norpac Foods, Robert Jolly is scrambling to find new work. The Salem man is just one of hundreds now facing job uncertainty after the cooperative announced last week that it expected to shut down two more of its food processing and packaging plants. While this company letter indicated that regular employees should plan to work through the holidays, there was no promise of it. And Jolly says he found himself without a job Friday. That's when he says dozens of employees were fed a pizza lunch and then told to leave and not to come back unless Norpac called them. With the holidays just around the corner, the timing is terrible. Take care of my family, pay my bills, keep up my insurance. But for the Jolly family, insurance is everything. Keeps my wife alive. Tina Jolly says she was born with a liver condition that requires expensive medications. Without insurance, her prescriptions cost nearly $1,000 a month. And now I'm like... What do I do? Do I go up and sign up for Oregon Health Plan now, or are they going to bring them back for a little while and then take it all away again? Fox 12 tried reaching Norpac executives several times, but never heard back. And it's not just the some 900 plus plant jobs at stake. The cooperative is made up of more than 200 family farms harvesting produce in the region. It's very frustrating, and I feel really bad for the farmers too, as well, because they're going to lose out on a lot too. Next year, when they go to plant their farms, where's that product going to go? Despite the stress, the Jollies say 36 years of marriage has taught them to lean on each other when times are tough. We've been through a lot together, and I think we'll meet this too. Their biggest Christmas wish: a new job for Robert at the same plant. I just hope that. You know, Maybe somewhere in the next 60 days, the Norpac can get bought and be up and running again. And that union representative did tell me this evening that there are three potential buyers interested in the plants in Salem, Brooks, and Staten. Now, the Oregon Potato Company is buying the Norpac Foods Processing Plant in Washington. Reporting live tonight in Brooks, Kendra Kent, Foxville, Oregon.